how do you deal? I mean, these two guys just, just never happened because they went straight back from a test match to play county cricket, as we all know. But how do you deal with being told you must have a rest from an England match, from a test match? Yeah, I didn't do too well with it at Edgebaston. Um. <laughs> right, so, so it's, I mean, I know you, you, there's no need to be controversial because we all kind of know the story, but I, I just wonder if, if you go, and, what do you do? You go and sit down with the coach, the captain, and say, hey, I'm fine? Or? Well, yeah, I mean, that, the Edgebaston one was slightly different to all the other rests I've had in the fact that I was warming up, like we're told, I was playing, so warming up to bowl. And um, Strauss actually called me over sort of 15 minutes before the toss and said... But you had a cold, didn't you? Well, yeah, I was fine. I was fine to play. Fine. <laughs> a sniffle is not going to rule you out a test match, is it? But um, he just said, look, with the weather around, there's three days left in this test match. Monday's forecast is awful. Why don't you just go and sit on your, your couch for a few days, do a gym session and get right, get right for a lot of one-day cricket, eight one-day games on the bounce? And I was like, I'm not going to miss a test match. You go and sit on my couch. It'll kill me. I want to play. And we obviously had five minutes of negotiations, which I came out on the wrong end of. Um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I, it's, it's, a, it's an awful feeling, the worst feeling driving away from a test match ground when you're not playing. And okay. whether that's from being dropped or rested, it doesn't make it much better. Was there ever a moment, either of you, deadly first perhaps, where you thought, you know what, I could do with the break. At the end of a test match, you bowl, you haven't quite bowled them out. And you, cool, you've got to drive off and Kent are playing Derbyshire. And you, oh, crikey. Was there ever a moment for war? I think our, our discipline was such that that was the style we play. Once the match was over on the Tuesday, we were off uh, from, you know, from Headingley to Clacton or wherever to play the next game. Um, and that was, that was the rule of thumb. But there were times when, shall we say, in 1976 when the West Indies toured here and I bowled 65 overs against Viv when he got 290. Perhaps I could have done with a couple of days off here and there. 